Hi, my name is David. I write poems to perform. And I do use some of the tricks of the trade, analogies, lines that contain multitudes. Sometimes I become acutely aware that there's no substance to voice. Just a game of air hockey, really, pushing patterns of atmosphere back and forth. But I monologue because truly, I want to let your soul on fire. I want to speak flammable, speak pictures, words worth a thousand words. I want to spit fire which hits close to home, a hearth that stays lit for the three minutes my words still vibrate in the air. I want to speak sparks, spark thoughts liable to spread like wildfire through your brain, ignite neurons you feared had become firing retardant, like the ones weaved from the times I've realized I have no reason not to be happy. Happiness has been bottled up for too long. Mentos falling into a Coke bottle. Let it explode and then laugh at the way its bubble circle dance on whatever stage is given. And I know how to build a fire. Like we knew about the Higgs boson before 2012, theoretically. The fuel is ambiguity. Enough ambiguity to strike a match with any of your thoughts that are ready to be projected onto the landscape of my words for full viewing pleasure. Ignition is specificity. I need images sharp enough to catch you, catch fire, catch fire in you. I want to light your soul on fire, but are arsonists ever satisfied? If the fire is hot enough, can any of your anxieties sublimate, turn, gaseous, turn gaseous and just float away? Is poetry catalytic? In the heat of this shared moment, can I provoke a reaction that transforms anything in you from worry to wonder? These are seductive questions, and I usually get caught up wishing humans were part phoenix, ready to be rebirthed from the ashes of a soul that was on fire. I usually get caught up poking and prodding, hoping to leave your embers burning, hoping to leave you turning over a line from this poem like a marshmallow pirouetting for its golden brown, or a dreidel pirouetting for golden gelt, or the turnstiles of New York's subway system, the type of pointed spinning that gets you somewhere other than just dizzy. But I want to get caught up differently. I want to get caught up in my inner pyromaniac trying to catch his breath at the sight of beauty. Because I believe some feelings are the points. Nights you don't need a telescope to learn about galaxies. And times someone tells you, I love you. And you think, I know, before you say I love you too. Whoever said don't fight fire with fires missed the point. Don't fight fires. Not this one. Not all of them. Build them knowing that some only require a little oxygen. Just a game of air hockey, really, pushing patterns of atmosphere back and forth. <laughs>